So uh, let's get this. OK, awesome. Just so that I know where the switches are and the buttons are. So how many of you um, used Alexa or Siri this morning as you were navigating to VMware? Awesome. And um, how many of you know what Alexa skills are? That's great. How many of you have an Amazon account? Awesome. <laughs> How many of you are developers? Beautiful. What if I tell you that after this session, all of you would be able to walk out and create a small Alexa skill? Sounds exciting? Yes. Let's do it then. But before we do that, let's start with a good, powerful affirmation. How about that? Right? So. This is technology. It can fail me any time, but let's see. <laughs> Alexa, open leadership affirmations. I lead mindfully. I am an empathetic leader, and my team loves me. Wishing you a successful day. How does that sound? <laughs> awesome. OK, so this is an Alexa skill that I developed. Um, who am I? I am um, I'm head of product now at Automation Anywhere. Um, and, uh, and prior to that, I used to work for AWS and Oracle, um, leading their uh, cloud enablement functions. Uh, but I'm also a founder of Empowered Women of the World. And this is where the whole inspiration around creating these Alexa skills came in. Um, the whole idea of Empowered Women of the World is um, essentially we believe that all women are leaders. And to be successful, all they need is an intellectual framework. And that's what we provide through Empowered Women of the World. So have, we have weekly free podcasts. We have Alexa skills um, and, and some other um, opportunities to learn. But basically, today what I want to talk about is the state of voice as it is today, uh, the whole concept of conversational AI. And then I want to quickly dive deep into how do you go about creating Alexa skills. Um, so voice is everywhere. As you all noticed, many of you use Siri or Alexa this morning to commute here. Now, a massive shift has happened in the last five years in where the voice is going. In 2014, um, the traffic was negligible. People were just getting hooked to the idea of using, uh, using a device that would speak back to them, right? And here we are talking about 10% of the search traffic now happening through voice. Virtual assistants exceed 50 billion voice searches per month every, every month these days. And Amazon Echo is the fast selling, fastest selling Bluetooth speaker in the history. By 2020, now this is critical, by 2020, 200 billion searches per month will be done uh, with voice. And Alexa is just an example. We have Google Assistant from Google. We have Cortana from Microsoft. Unfortunately, all virtual assistants are women. And that is the bias in AI, which is, uh, which is something that I want you to keep in mind as you start thinking about developing Alexa skills. Because part of the reason why I got into developing Alexa skills was creating inspiration for other women and creating an environment where we are represented as well. And um, you know, bias in AI is going to be um, a hot topic. It's already a hot topic, but it's going to become more significant as we move our workloads onto, um, onto AI. So um, another chart that shows that by um, 2021, we'll have 1.83 billion consumers worldwide using AI. So when you have, and some other data sets, but when you have these amount of users on a platform, that's being used, it opens a huge opportunity for everybody to be able to use this consumer base to use AI for God, right? Think about, um, I, my father-in-law has Alzheimer's, and for him, it's getting difficult to remember which switches to use to turn on the lights. Well, you know, the ability to walk in and just say, Alexa, turn on lights, is huge for him what his, it does to his ability to turn on, not just the ability to turn on the light, but that emotional um, you know, aspect of it, the fear of not remembering and feeling somehow less because he cannot remember anymore which light button would turn on the switch, right? Or um, 
or for um, you know i was talking to my 6 year old daughter yesterday and i said ria what do you want to be when you grow up because that was one of the speaking assignments that was coming up at school and he, she says to me mama i want to be like you i want to be a woman in tech and she i don't even know if she actually knows what being a woman in tech means but <laughs> but being able to inspire right having role models and being able to inspire and if we had Alexa skills around that, like my kids are always on Echo Dots, you know, saying, Alexa, tell me this. What if she was able to say something and get beautiful ideas around women leaders, right? So um, that is the opportunity that's there. And to be able to just create something within 10 to 15 minutes and to be put out there and inspire so many people that you don't even know and have that impact is huge. So, this is, um, Dana is here, so she'll, she'll recognize this. Last year, I, uh, I spoke on a session, uh, whose, that's uh, and the title of the session was Fast Track Your Leadership Career. As I was walking out, somebody came to me and said, said Did you, do you have a book on that topic, on this? Because I would really like a book. And I said to her, I don't have a book yet, but I'll have one very soon. Three years later, we released this book, and uh, three months later, we released this book. Um, within 11 hours of its release, it was an Amazon bestseller. So um, during that process, what I realized was that um, as I posted it on LinkedIn, many people reached out to me and said, it's not available uh, where we are in our, uh, you know, in our geographic re region. There were Kindle versions available. But that's when I realized that to make it available to everybody, I had to use a bigger platform. And that's where Alexa skills came into being. Now you have this power to be able to use conversational AI to make world a better place. So this is the holiday kindness um, uh, Alexa uh, skill that I have. There's leadership affirmations, there's detox affirmations. This is an awesome one, um, not made by me bias bursting kids, you know, how to help with bullying and bias, autism help, brain workout, again, great for people suffering from dementia, you know, helping them do something. And then Colgate has this app um, that's called Save Water, which basically guides people into small changes that they can make to make a difference in the environment. <clears throat> so some examples, Alexa by Amazon, Google Assistant by Google, Siri by Apple, and Cortana by Microsoft. Uh, last year, Jeff Bezos in the, um, uh, in the shareholder letter, I think he mentioned that there are over 80K published skills. And what is an Alexa skill? So think about Alexa skill as, as an app that you are developing. But Alexa is a virtual assistant, so you have to teach her skills, right? And that's why these apps are known as Alexa skills. And what it is doing is, the reason why it's called skill is because they're using AI and machine learning in the background to make Alexa, which is your virtual assistant, more smarter, right? I am, um, I am very, very excited to share that I actually saw um, a demo of Q. Uh, and Q is a third gender voice. And it was so exciting to see that there is some effort that's happening wherein virtual assistants are not just tagged on as women, right? Uh, I know there's an option and Siri can be a man, but uh, you know, that doesn't sound right to me in any which way. <laughs> but Q is amazing. I, um, it's an, I think it's, it's an initiative that uh, somebody in Ireland led and it's beautiful. They, they combined, um, over 300K voices to get that new gender neutral voice. Um, popular skill categories, um, these are some of the categories of the skills that are available. This is what a day of a user looks like and will look like. This is done for New York, so please excuse me, but some of this is still valid. NPR, ask the weather, what am I going to, dis I'm going into the city, what am I going to wear today? Coming from Livermore, you know, the temperature is, the difference is huge. Uber, then I can order flowers. I mean, I hope somebody orders flowers for me for Mother's Day. <laughs> Coming up, then you can order your lunch, your dinner, and then this is what your day is going to look like with conversational AI. Now, let's quickly move on because everybody wants to now start developing. 
Let's quickly move on to what the framework looks like. So there's Alexa sales skills kit and you know, it's good to know this information, but you'll need none of this when you actually start developing, but you should know what is in the background. So Alexa skills kit, you know, you can create it asks, uh, it basically is a place where you will write instructions to connect to the consumer. And then within the cloud lives the speech recognition and the natural language processing. And then the output is through um, Amazon Echo, or it can be your Google Assistant or whatever it is. The framework pretty much remains the same, whether it's Alexa or Google or Microsoft. And then essentially what happens in an Alexa skill is the user makes a request and audio stream is sent to Alexa. Here is your Alexa cloud, which is over here, natural processing languages and everything else. So that text is converted into, sorry, that um, audio is converted into text. It processes over here and then it's output in the form of speech again. So that is the underlying framework. Now let's start building. There are three steps to building Alexa skills. First is defining. So when you start defining your Alexa skill, you have to start thinking about what is this skill about. So for example, if you want to write a skill about inspiring women leaders, I would say, um, Alexa, you know, tell me more about inspiring women leaders. So then what will Alexa remember, uh, respond to me? So think of it as a screenplay and write it down. Here is what's different than creating traditional labs. In traditional labs, you'll think in the form of a code. Here you're going to think in the form of a conversation. So for example, for my skill leadership affirmations, I said, well, you know, and there's some key terms like open leadership affirmations, that's the name of the skill. But what would the leadership affirmation respond back? Like I had some affirmations filled in there, but I also wanted to end it with a nice note. So I said, have a wishing you a successful day, right? So those are the things that you can add. Now it's very, very important to here understand the consumer needs. Here is where your business acumen will come into place. Like what am I developing the skill for? What is the problem that I'm trying to solve, right? And then once you create it, you deploy it. So, um, you know, you use the deployment method to deploy it and then you create a go-to-market plan, which is basically how would you publish it out? Do you want to publish it in one language? Do you want to publish it in seven languages? And just so that you know, um, Alexa uh, skills can be published in seven English uh, dialects uh, and accents. So there is an American accent, there is a U UK accent, there is Indian accent, there is um, uh, Australian accent that's there. So, um, so that's what you will do. So this is what you have to do. And the maximum amount of time will actually go in your design phase where you will be writing that script in terms of how to what Alexa, what you will say and what Alexa would respond to. So three steps start to end, um, design, development, and then testing and certification. This was the traditional model two years ago when uh, Amazon had just released Alexa skills and started to create that framework. Uh, designing your skill would take anywhere between four to five weeks. It took time to understand what is the business idea that I want to work with. Um, then development and bringing skill to life would take another three to four weeks. Somebody would, people would develop it in Python, JavaScript, um, whatever language that they felt comfortable in. And testing and certification would, would take some time as well because every skill that you create when you have to publish it on Amazon store, actually someone at in, within the Alexa team goes through a certification pro, uh, process to certify it. Now, one thing to remember over there is in this kind of an instance, you, you needed a function as a service, which is FAS, in cloud somewhere, which could be Lambda, which could be any other um, you know, function. Um, and the second piece that you needed is Alexa sk skill kit to be able to, um, as a kit, to be able to derive. And then there is an easy way now. So what Alexa released, uh, Amazon released this year is Alexa Blueprints, which makes it very, very easy. What it does is you go to Alexa, go search for Alexa Blueprints. And what it does is it loads up a whole lot of blueprints for you. And these blueprints prints are actually templates that have all the Java code that's written in there. 
And what it also does is it has the backend configured as well. So all you need to do is to select, you know, what kind of skill are you creating? So if it's a question and answer skill, for example, right? If you want your kids to say, who is the first woman um, who climbed Mount Everest, for example? And then there's an answer associated with it. That would be custom question and answers. One could be fact. Alexa, tell me about inspiring women. And that would be a fact kind of a skill. How many days um, is another one that you can use. Remember that these are just templates. You can, what goes inside these templates is your idea. And then here is um, using your skill. So essentially, first one is you decide on the content. The second one is you name your skill. So do, a, do some research on Alexa store. You want to make sure that your skill name is unique. If it's not unique, when you'll say, Alexa, open leadership affirmation, it will open somebody else's leadership affirmation and not yours. So you have to be sure that your skill name is unique, but you'll use your business acumen as well. You want it catchy, you want it easy for people to remember, and that's what you would do. And then you can continue as adding as many facts as you want. So for example, when I created leadership affirmations, this is what, if I wouldn't have done it the hard way, this is what I could have done. I could have fed all the leadership affirmations in here, all sentences that I wanted, and it would randomly pick up one every time I wanted to use one. And then once you customize it, um, you'll name it, and then this is one I, that I created. I wanted to create uh, inspiring women leaders, so I created it. It's out there. Um, I haven't uh, put in all the facts, but, um, but there are two that exist right now. And then how would you initiate that? How would you run that program, if you will? In, you know, what you'll do is you'll say, Alexa, open inspiring women leaders. You'll say, start inspiring women leaders. Or you'll say, ask inspiring leaders. Uh, ask inspiring leaders for a fact. And that's how the skill would play out. So if you're looking for inspiration, um, my leadership affirmations uh, Alexa skill, I have the code uploaded on GitHub. I can make that code available to you. You can pick it up and run with it. You can also just go to that build blueprint, choose a fact skill. It's called fact skill. And what it does is it's basically a template for facts. You can fill in all your facts and you can run and play. This was also one called Inspiring Women, which I really liked. Um, and then uh, there's one around build your brain power, which is also ex uh, very exciting. And let's build something awesome. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. That's uh, my Twitter handle. That's for eWow. But I'm more than happy to help, happy to share the source code with you. The idea is that we go out there, we use this huge platform that already exists, and we inspire other women leaders, and we create AI for good.